All right, so in this problem, I have 3 to the power of x is equal to 7 to the power of x plus 2. So to solve this, first off, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, 7 to the power of x plus 2, I can rewrite as 7 to the power of x times 7 to the power of 2. Now, I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by 7 to the power of x. So then these two cancel out, and now I'm left with 3 to the power of x over 7 to the power of x is equal to 7 squared. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to sorry, a to the power of m or b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So 3 to the power of x over 7 to the power of x, that's going to equal 3 over 7 to the power of x, which is equal to 7 squared. And now I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I have log 3 over 7 to the power of x is equal to log 7 squared. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this is going to equal b times log a. So log of 3 over 7 to the power of x, I can move x to the front. And log 7 squared, I can move 2 to the front. So now I have x times log 3 over 7 is equal to 2 times log 7. And now if I divide both sides by log of 3 over 7, These two cancel out, and I have x is equal to 2 log 7 over log 3 over 7. Now, if I have something in the form log a over b, this is equal to log a minus log b. So log 3 over 7, that's going to equal log 3 minus log 7. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have 8 to the power of x is equal to 80. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by taking the log on both sides. So now I have log of 8 to the power of x is equal to log 80. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this is going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log a to the power of x. So I can move x here to the front. So now I have x times log 80. It or sorry, x times log 8 is equal to log 80. So now we want to isolate x here. So I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by log 8. So I can move log 8 to the right-hand side. So now on my left-hand side, these two are going to cancel out. And now I have x is equal to log 80 over log 8. So now log 80 here, well 80 is the same thing as 10 times 8. So I'm going to rewrite 80 as, or sorry, log of 80 as log of 10 times 8. And if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So in this case, log 10 times 8, that's going to equal log 10 plus log 8. And now I have this over log 8. So now to solve this, I'm going to rewrite this as log 10 
over log 8 plus log 8 over log 8. Now, anything divided by itself is 1, so log 8, log 8, those two cancel out. So now I have log 10 over log 8 plus 1. And log 10 is also 1, so I have x is equal to 1 over log 8 plus 1. So log 8, that's the same thing as 2 times log 3. Or sorry, 3 times log 2, which is equal to 2.10. All right, so in this problem, I have 4 to the power of x plus 10 to the power of x is equal to 25 to the power of x. So I'm going to first start by dividing all my terms here with 4. 4 to the power of x. So now 4 to the power of, and 4, 4 to the power of x cancel out. So I have 1 plus 10 over 4 to the power of x is equal to 25 over 4 to the power of x. Now, 10 over 4, that's the same thing as 5 over 2. And 25 over 4, that's the same thing as 5 over 2 squared to the power of x. And 5 over 2 squared, that's the same thing as 5 squared over 2 squared to the power of x. So now... I'm going to let u equal 5 over 2. So now I have 1 plus u is equal to u squared. So now if I rearrange this, I get u squared minus u minus 1 is equal to 0. So I'm going to use the quadratic formula to solve this. I'm not going to waste your guys' time, but you should get, if you do end up using the quadratic formula, u is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. So now, remember how we said u is equal to 5 over 2 to the power of x. So this means that 5 over 2 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. So this gives me two equations. 5 over 2 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So to solve this, I'm going to take first start by taking the log on both sides. So now I have log 5 over 2 to the power of x is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. Now if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this from b to the front. So now I have b times log a. So in this case, I have log 5 over 2 to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log 5 over 2 is equal to log... 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. Now we obviously want to isolate x, so I'm going to divide both sides by log 5 over 2. So then these two cancel out, and now I have x is equal to log of 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 over log 5 over 2. Now 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. This wouldn't work because 1 minus the square root of 5, that's going to be a negative number. And you can't take the positive, you can't take the power of a positive number and make it a negative number. So this is wrong, and this is my only solution.